everybody, this is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Scrap Mechanic Survival. Hope you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to mind you all to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens, because here we are on the bridge of love. Uh, well, it's not a complete bridge of love, but it is uh, more complete than it's been. Um, I've already installed scaffolding and all that stuff on it to get ready to, for the builderizations to occur. Uh, I just want to let you guys know I spent a day, uh, like, it's, I haven't had a video for two days. Uh, one of the days, I pretty much grinded mats all day. Uh, the other day, I didn't play at all because I felt like I was getting close to, like, playing too much to where I'd burn out and you wouldn't have any videos. So I took a day off, uh, relaxed a little bit, actually got sleep, stuff like that. So I just wanted to give you a heads up. It's like, you know, I know how a lot of people are like, you didn't post a video in a day or two. Uh, he's the series is dead. It's not. Come on, guys. It's not. If you've been watching this series, you know how much it takes to do the stuff that we're doing. And, um, it's just, this is what it is. You know, I, I got to space it out and, and do what we can do so we can continue with the series and not burn out hardcore. Cause it's getting pretty ridiculous for something like this, especially what, what I'm going to try to do down here to finish out the bridge. Um, because I want it to look good. I want it to look good. And that's what we're doing anyway. I did finish off the entrances kind of, I still need to do stuff with the grounds and stuff like that, but I got the entrance sections done on both ends. So that's there. We got that. That's good. Um, I've also crafted up a bunch of the vacuum tubes themselves, glass tubes, whatever, because I want to run something underneath this just in case we end up wanting to tie in maybe the farm or maybe send water a different way than just directly. I mean, I've been going out and grabbing, bringing it up. It really is no big deal. But um, because, you know, it, I've got like four pumps down there into a chest system that where I just change out a chest and I grab it, and put a new one on and come back and it continues to run. So, um, yeah, that's what we got going on. Um, the good thing is, too, that we haven't done anything mobile with this except for the couple bearings for the lights that my FPS has held very nicely. And that's super important because if we put bearings on this or anything else, I think right now at this point, uh, we would probably be like, well, I guess I can't build here anymore because of how much FPS loss would be. That's probably about the biggest, you know, you think the, the red guy, the big red boys, like the bosses and stuff like that, they are FPS beast is, is the end game boss. <laughs> And we're really trying to make this last as much as we can because I'm enjoying it and I'm we put a lot of work into it so far. We do have to get some trailers done for our hauler. Probably redo the front end of the hauler too. And holla! And then I would like to do some tier three farming and also get out and um, so that way we can get the new weapons that I haven't gotten yet and maybe do another warehouse. Hopefully they'll have some updates for that soon. But anyway, so what are we gonna do today? Well, I guess I'll outline what I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking we're going to try to do some sort of like from the centerpiece, some sort of arch that goes down to the main support areas. Like these, these little cubby hole areas are okay, but like the main support ones are these guys. So we're probably going to try and do some sort of arch to here, build a support down and then have some sort of connected way because these parts are even. So it'll balance out the, the bridge view. But then, then after that, this part is longer than this part so we'll work out something to work with that and then underneath it i want to have some piping not just a vacuum tube piping but the other piping to make it look like it's doing stuff uh, a little like surface walkway for underneath there and then have a way for it to come up on the sides i'm not exactly sure how i want to handle that maybe we'll install an elevator and all that stuff also um this is why i don't like using pistons on static structures this little simple poop shoot thing we've got going on here i walked in here and um it's it decided that it wanted to hang out on the side of the wall. I figured I'd save it for you guys before I did, just see what happens right now. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so this, this kind of stuff, like, that's an easy fix, but when you start getting to some really, really, really big things that, like, are, like, very uh, built-in stuff, you, it, just, it just gets kind of wonky. Heck, my FPS is still shot right now because of that thing. Let's see here. All right, it looks like it's working. So we'll turn it off. All right, cool. All right, cool. Not wrecked, but it's, it goes down. Like, I, I mean, I'm sitting here on a good amount of FPS. I just, uh, I call it wrecked, but it wrecked would be like when we start getting sub like 40, sub 30. Um, some of the Conan builds we've done, I've gotten down to like 18 FPS um, during a series. So you can see it here. I've got some tubes in this one. I've got tubes in this one. I've got lots of sand in this one. We've got more tubes in this one. I've also made some of this punched metal because it was pretty cheap to make. And I think we could use that for part of our walkways. Um, I'm hoping that's enough tubes because if it's not, then it is what it is. Um, what else have we got going on? Um, I should have some 90 still. 
Yeah, I still have some nines. We only really need two or four, depending on how we race, do it. And we do have a couple more tubes here. Uh, we'll be running those in the longest setting possible. But let's just, let's just dive into it. I do have a little bit of concrete on me. I have, before I made all that stuff, I made a crap load of bricks. Here we go. Crap load of bricks. Those are super cheap to make if you have the stone, which we do. And then we have the crap load of concrete, which is not necessarily, it's not expensive, but it does take a certain amount of sitting around waiting for the chemical to refill. I need to do a filling station like I did on the water one at the chemical side. That way uh, it's a lot faster uh, to get my mats and come back. Uh, I had some people ask me, why would you want more than one pump? And it's like, the more pumps you add, the quicker the boxes fill up, the less time you waste just sitting there waiting. Uh, let's go ahead and try this out. Let's go ahead and do something here. Uh, maybe bring this down a few and just start like fleshing out like parts of the build and see what it likes to become. You know, it, like I said, I like to listen to what the build tells me it wants to be. And then, 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 then when it tells me, it's like, okay, we'll try that out. And if, then if I agree with it, then, then we, we go with the flow. Um, and it looks like it's about to be nighttime. Yay. Let's have that not on there just yet. Or did I do that over here? Okay. Um, and I'm going to need to grab some more scrap wood so that way I can just like do a step back glance type thing there we go but uh this has been an interesting project too kind of um never really done this kind of aesthetic build even in creative um i've done some things bigger than this but it was stuff that ended up destroying you know your fps and uh like the dragon it didn't fall zero zero false come on come on man work with me here there we go okay that's a start if those come out and then we build into it and then have like uh, this come down, maybe that'll look good. Let's try this out. And then we'll just try to space it one, two, three, four, five. So that's that is exactly one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. And kind of just kind of have something come off the bottom here. And what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and just do this and get it set up. And then when daytime comes, then we'll come back and work on it some more. So thank you guys for coming in and watching the episode. I'll be right back. You all hold on. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back. And we have the design started for the arches to come back. I might make it more, uh, was it graduated, gradually, whatever the words is, uh, make it arch a little bit longer than kind of get sharper as it go. But we got something started. Um, I was thinking about here, maybe we can add in some other things too. I don't know just yet. I, um, I, I think maybe like, I, I was thinking about some of these or something to kind of, oh, these are bad. These are big boys. Um, that would be a really big boy. Uh, maybe if it was flush, it might look better. I don't know. Let's try that out and then put you here because it is an odd number. How big are these guys on this? I don't like that, but can I put another one up on you? Like, just all up on you? Like, facing the other direction? Yes, I can. Hmm. Now, what if we did one of these in between? Like, a little, little sandwich. There we go. I kind of like that. We'd have to paint it. It's not big enough. If it was a bigger boy, then we'd be good to go, but it's not. Um, and I like the transitionals that these do. I do have some other blocks. Uh, where were they at? And I plan to use most of these for the underside of it. Those are regular thingies. Um, don't have any there. Did I have any more of the other type? Let's see right quick. Those guys. I don't have a lot. Hmm. I really wish we could craft some of the stuff. It'd be really nice. You know what I'm saying? It'd be nice if we could just craft some of the stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. Not all of it. Just a little bit of it. Eh. I don't like that. So then we'll go with the block stuff. Because um, I, I do want to use those yellow pipes for underneathness. Uh, let's try something out just, just, just to see how she looks. And kind of like maybe continue this out. We can add some design feels to it too maybe. I don't know just yet. Uh, we kind of have to kind of again just kind of do what the build kind of asks for and then like modify it to our own happiness there i guess you could say there's that and then you go here and then we need to do stuff to give it more depth but how is, is that is that horribly that's not that bad uh i feel like we need to definitely figure out where our 
I think where this connects at is where we're going to end up doing the, we're going to have like our service area. It's like to walk in here. How far is that out? That looks like about right. Let's just, let's go with that and then bring it in. And then try this out here to add some more flavor. Cause you, know, you can never have too much flavor when you're, when you're cooking up some builds, you know what I'm saying? Uh, go up here. Yeah, almost feel like we need to have a better support on the inside than do an angled thing back to it. And I feel like this needs to be a little more thick. Um, let's try that out. Let's go here, here, and then here. Okay, that's not too bad. And I've, I've been thinking as I've been building this... It'd be cool to be able to do some other designs inside of this and like have this be like the support beam and then have something else. But for right now, I think I'm just going to fill it in like right behind it. So it's kind of like giving it like a trim piece type of thing, like something like that. And just to see how it looks like with this in here. I'm not trying to do like whatever looks the best is what I'm going. We've grinded enough mats that... We need to make sure what, what well what I think looks the best. That's really what matters. Uh, Cause so I can when I log on and look at it, I'm like I'm not like Ugh. you know what I mean? Like, okay, we we did do do did do our work, do 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 our work. Do 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 right there. Let's see what this looks like. Get up the hole. No, that's not really a hole. It's well, it's starting to act like one. There we go. Okay, so something needs to happen with this end of it for sure. I do like how that's kind of forming out. It needs more to it than just what we just did. Uh, I think I'm going to try to bring it down one. Uh, let's do this. Let's, let's fill in this right quick. And that way I can cut it off and it won't fall all the way to the ground. Maybe I can just remove that one. And then where we put the brick behind it. It looks like it needs to come out a little bit more. Good, good, good thing we walked in here. Let's bring you over to here and then like that and then like that. All right. So where does it connect to it over here too? There we go. And maybe bring this down to the sectional of this sectional area to where it's at the bottom of this base. I don't know how boring or exciting it is for you guys, but this is, this is like, this is integral to the, the, the quality of, of, of the, I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with some interesting words. Okay, let's go here. here. That looks a little bit better. That looks a little bit better. Zero, zero falls, zero falls. Go here, and we can just come across like this entire way. Very nice. All right. Yeah. And there. And oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, who's the dirty bridge? All right, there we go. Yeah, that looks a lot better already from, from the little point of view we have. Yeah, uh, we still need to do some flavoring with that, but that at least kind of gets something together. Um, and I do almost feel like the walkway needs that, that little in, little inset thing there. I think it needs to go maybe... Uh, I think it might need to go down one, but I'm going to roll with that for now. And start slamming these out. So let me get in here again. I'm going to go ahead and finish out these ones to match kind of what we've done here and see what it looks like overall. You all know the deal. Okay. We've been working here. We got some things worked out. Try to get some more ideas coming in on the on the ideas. I uh, ended up bringing this down by one. So there's a two block difference here. And just tied these in right now with this and added a little arch on this side. I'll match the other side up here soon. But it's coming together. Um... I think it's working out all right so far. Uh, now for the sections where these these arches meet up with the columns that are going down, uh, we I was thinking about putting some cross beams in here. Maybe we can do a little bit of like a support thing behind it to kind of tie it together. Actually, maybe we should just do a full on thing here. It'd be cool to throw in some other kinds of blocks, but right now for flavor, uh, we'll worry about the extra flavors. I said I love flavors and all the different stuffs, but. I think right now, oh, wrong box. I need to make sure that it looks right, like uh, with the the visual form, and then we'll get into some decorations with it potentially too. Because 
this this could come out not good if I don't do this right. That actually looks okay-ish. Um, that needs to come in, I think, here. We need to get this towards the right blocks. And I'm going to make it filled in there. I've been trying to save blocks here and there by leaving like certain things hollow here and there. But generally speaking, here and there, we've been here and there and pretty good. <laughs> uh, that's in there. That looks okay. Um, we'll be covering up these two in a different manner and to make the arch look more... We might end up just doing another arch or something and more of a pronounced one or something or maybe just one big one. That might work. Uh, the thing about it is trying to make sure that this span looks good too. And um, the cool thing too about the whole part of it is when you come up from the below, you're not really going to see this. And when you come up from the other side, you're not going to see that. So we'll be able to do, you know, kind of what we want, but I still want to, you know, put forth the correct amount of effort to make it all line up. All right, let's get to some more building. Uh, we need to bring these guys down. I had to go to the better wood that I've been saving for scaffolding. It's not like it's getting going to stay here permanently, but I had to go grab some of that because I ran out of the scrap wood. Um, and I'm still not sure if I'm going to have any extra mats left over after building this bridge. And that comes out a little bit further, right? Uh, yeah, it does. What's going on? Okay, that's there. Okay, cool, cool. We, we're okay. Everything's fine. We're fine. I was just making sure. It needs to come out two from that. That's one. So we need to come out one more. And then do this over here. To tie it in the rest of the way. Something's not right. Something's not right. What did I do wrong? One, two, three, four. Uh, this is out too wide here. The tops look fine. And this is in here by one. What did I do wrong? Did I just add one weird? It just, then that wouldn't be lined up at the bottom. Oh, wait, wait, no. Since I took out that bottom piece, we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, cool. Just making sure everything's good. Um, and then we'll need to tie in like an angle into this or something. I, I would like to, let's go ahead and just grab some of those vacuum tubes. How much space do I have? I can drop some of this off right now. Um, this goes in here. I was thinking that maybe we can go ahead and grab those and see how we're going to tie them into the build as well. I do want that functionality there. It just is going to take a little bit, a little bit of uh, uh, finagalizations, and we're going to have to come up with some interesting strapping kind of visuals on it because I don't want it floaty timing. I just wanted to have, I want to make it look like it's how it's supposed to be. By the way, Bob is doing very well. We have been giving him plenty of cardboard on a regular basis on a one minute timer. He has yet to go want to go get any more fast food, which is a good, healthy, uh, Good, healthy choice that we did that, because the alternative that he was going for probably wouldn't be good for him in the long run. Let's just grab this many. All right, heading over here. Going over there. There we go. Jumping down here. We're running back this way. Over down here. And this way. And down here. And zero falls, right? Good stuff. All right, so how do you look with our build? So, and can I rotate you any other way? I have to do something. Okay, so I need to put something in there to keep it flush. Not flush, but to keep it from... Hmm. Well, zero falls. That was, that was just making sure you guys are watching. There we go. Uh, let me go grab some elbows and stuff and see what I can do to finagle that up underneath there. Okay, welcome back. We've got stuff done. Um, I've pretty much just recreated the things we've already done uh, before this. As uh, I got these pillars down, they match these kind of pillars. Also got the support connections on here lined up. Built a little thing across the bottom. Um, I did try out some of the pipe stuff. Not to... Uh, I, I think we're going to wait until we're closer to some more things done before we, we, we incorporate that. Because they will not snap on the sides at all, which I'm sure most of you guys are yelling about. But... um. It is what it is, and I figured, well, that's a sign to work on some other things because that would just hold up progress just sitting here, you know, dwelling on that. Uh, I don't want to put any chest in the system yet because I don't want to have to, like, worry about stuff being, like, clogged in there or whatnot. Because I think what I want to try, try and do is actually make a, a transfer system for our food to the house or maybe even a water system. So I might take two sets of those pipes. So that's probably going to have to hold on for, I'm pretty certain it's going to have to hold on. I kind of like what we got going on with this, a little archway. 
Uh, but again, trying to make the other side tie into it is going to be the interesting debacle of the situation. Actually, that goes back. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, it goes forward one. Let's go over here. There we go. Like that. Let's go on the other side. This way we can do it a little bit easier. And this way we have that nice trim going on. There we go. How about like that? And one more right there. Come on, I can see the bottom. Give it to me. Come on, baby. Uh, maybe we can do it over here. No, no, zero. We did. We went down our purpose. It's, it's not. That was not. Does not count as a fall. That does not count as a fall. Uh, that goes here, and then this one goes across there. There we go. Okay, great. And we're, there's the twin right there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have that. That looks actually pretty nice, honestly. I'm, I'm not mad at that. Um, and that's the arch going up, so it's supposed to be visually a little bit different. I kind of actually, the, the clean simpleness of it is really appealing to me. And again, the most of the, d the decorat decorative thing features are supposed to be on the top anyway. And I don't want to draw, pull away from that too much, but I want to make sure it, we don't make it... I want to make sure it's, it's decorative enough. I guess that's the right word. I'm going to do that on this side as well. Let me knock that out and we'll come right back. This should take a second. All right. Can't see that well. It's a little dark. Still, just, just barely not complete morning right now. Um, but I have made this up a little bit further. Made sure the bottom lengths here, like these two come out. These two come out match a little bit better. So it kind of is a little more cohesive. Um, and then I've also started adding in walls in here. Um, if you look at my inventory, you can see that I have some uh, some some diamond plate type metal type metal stuff. There we go. I, I'm really good at describing things, aren't I? Anyway, um, we can. I'm thinking about putting a row of concrete here, like that, and then putting a row out of concrete here. There we go. And then kind of casing it in inside of here. This should match up with the line above us right there. So that's like kind of like the flooring. Um, maybe we'll come in with one more row on the inside. I might pull this back in one. I don't know just yet, but I kind of like the idea of it being on the... No, we're going to pull it back. <laughs> Changes have been made already. Welcome to my brain. All right, there's this over here, and this is right here, and then pull this out there, pull this out here. Okay, so that pushes it back a little bit, um, and then that means that this will be behind this wall like that. Let's try that out over here, too. Well, let's just do it. Let's not even try it. Let's just do it. Let's just knock it out like that, and then I'm thinking about trying to do a design here or something to help, you know, with the overall design thing. Something simple-ish. And then maybe bringing over this. And let's, let's just add in some pieces to it like this. Like that. Maybe that'll look, look good. And that's here. Kind of looks like kind of like a truss, but it's with concrete. And that looks like this would match up with this. Is that right? It looks like it's right. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, that works out. That, that'll be nice. For this end, this is a different length, though, than the other side. So it's going to be interesting what we have to work out for over there to make it look a little bit better. Let's bring this over like another one just to kind of give it a little more finality and maybe over here for some things like that. Maybe we can just remove this then. Yeah, I like that. That actually looks kind of cool. Um, I do want to let some natural light in there ish, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll work it out. All right. So this is our center here. This is an odd width. And since it's a bigger area, I guess we can go with the three and do that. And then maybe find our center point here. Here is that the true center? And it goes. That's that's it up. That's maybe like that. We'll find out. And maybe come out further. Maybe do threes. 
That's too much. Okay. Um, maybe do this and then come out twos then and just see how the twos look. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring down the brick here. And then do this up top here and it's just this is just some for some flavor um that's okay ish i don't know i kind of like it going out a little bit further oh well, it's this isn't this is centered that's kind of part of the problem then okay okay we're fine everything's fine we got this uh this needs to go over one then All right, welcome back. And I decided to work on some of the pylons coming down to support the the bridge itself. It's not complete, but it's, it's at least giving it look at the visual appeal of structural integrity. Once all that scaffolding's go, gone, too, we'll be able to kind of do a better thing. I was it's getting it's dark down here even with the sun out. Um, I was gonna do the floor next, but I felt like I needed to get this part done, and I needed to get the other side up to par too. Right now, we're not. It's nowhere near stuffs. And I brought a line over to make sure we have the concrete. So you can see here, we have the interior brick with like an outer edge of concrete for encasement and then coming down and then coming out with the pylon a little bit on the side. So I just want to make sure that transition was is balanced on both sides. I don't want just some, you know, scraggly looking stuff, man. We got to make this look good. It's got to make it look good. Um, and let's see if we can just get some of this done while we're here. But I'm, I'm trying to make sure we come back uh, with something pertinent for what we're trying to do with the build. And I feel like this is kind of pertinent, if not pertinent, pertinent, like really pertinent. <laughs> Get that. Okay. Um, anyway, and then let's go over here and miss the jump. That's fine. Uh, we have to get this up here. I have been trying to save mats where I can with the builds, but sometimes I just kind of am also trying to knock out the builds too. So that that's, that's like it's a double edge, edge thing. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's <laughs> no, no, I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's grab this, and these come down and over one. So that is a one, two, three, and four, and it comes down three, two, three. So I need a little bit right here, and then we can grab this one, bring it over, and I'm just going to go over it a little bit extra just in case. So there's a three space, one, two, three, here, and then it comes out with this. like that and then this corner comes down and it's not like this thing is what's but if this gets knocked out by enemies it's not like it's going to destroy the bridge because the bridge is uh actually connected into the mountainside up the top as you guys know because that's where we started with the build um so i'm not really worried about any real major issues with trying to um you know if enemies start knocking stuff out or try to start knocking stuff out th this will be a not that bad of a repair i don't even know if they would start attacking it honestly probably with how things are going, uh, with, it seems like in the game, and this is kind of blending in together, but we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get some lighting in eventually too. I'm surprised it's this, uh, even like in like afternoon, it's this bad, like to be able to see down here, especially for recording. I appreciate your patience. Um, where is that corner? Did I do that wrong? No, I did it right. Just, it looks weird. All right. This corner is here. Let's bring this down and over, and then that one's right in that hole. I did do something weird, didn't I? One, two, three. This thing's wrong. All right, we've got to clean up this right quick. All right, so that's like that. Bam, bam. This one's in too close. That's what it is. Okay. And it's off too. <sighs> one, two, three. That looks right. That's there. This is right. This is goes over one, and this one is supposed to come down here, I think. Yeah, because with this one, okay, okay. Uh, brain, brain, work, brain. We're good. Brain's like, yeah, man. I'm like, brain, I need you to work, buddy. All right, there's that, and then this goes here, and I can clean up the top when we get there. But this is pretty much what we're doing right now. I'm going to go ahead and bring the other guys down as well. I've already started the brick on that end, and then I'm going to make sure it lines up with what we've got here and finish it off with concrete. Um, if I know it's a bit much, uh, you know, a lot of people are like, why are you going to spend all the mats on this? But we're trying to make it look good, man. We've got to make it look good. It's got to it's gotta be 
it's got to be right, you know? You can't just, here's a bridge, and then, like, there you go, and that's all you got. You know, we got to make sure this looks, like, nice and, and just, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I'm going to do this. And I think that one needs to come down a little bit, too. Nope, we're good. Okay, great, great. And that's kind of my life right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish these up. Figured I'd show you what I was doing with them, and we will be back. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How you doing? How's it going? Hope you guys have a good one so far. We're, we're like about seven hours in now making this video, and um, I feel like we've done pretty good progress. So, both sides generally match now. I end up adding, um, if you were watching earlier, I added a, a beam across this to make it look nice and thick. Also, we ended up adding uh, a little piece right here. I felt like that helped make it have more visual support. Um, and then on this end, I adjusted this, this portion of the build, too, to have that beam across the bottom to make it look really good. I, I think it looks good like that. I think it has a nice thing. I thought about putting some in the center, but I, I like. I think we're going to leave it like it the way it is. Um, it, it, it's coming together pretty good. Uh, I really would like to get in these floors, like the, the surface areas now, um, just so I can have start getting rid of the scaffolding and then have a service ramp across there and then have uh, our piping ramp. But I don't know how much, if I really want to mess with the piping right now, now that I'm thinking about it, because we, we, we have to do a lot of things. Um, where's some caution blocks? We'll grab some of them too. And I might want to try out the chain link instead. And then I have regular wood on me, too. Okay, great. Uh, I thought the diamond plating would look good inside of the casing here for for this. Uh, let's add a row of concrete so there's, like, a lip on the inside of it. Like this. And then there's that. And then this is moved in. Two from that. And this is moved in two from this. It is spaced from that correctly. And that corner is spaced out correctly. Okay, let's remove this scrap wood up into here. Okay, great. All right, so now if we fall, we fall. That's all there is to it. All right, so let's see here. Uh, let's grab the diamond plating. Let's grab you. Actually, I'll probably have to eat some crunchy times here in a second. We're going to try out you. And let's just add in the diamond plating first. Again, we're making it like a service area. So I'd like to see how we can make this work in a good manner. And we need to add some cross beams for the, between the, uh, the supports just so it looks better from the ground too. But for right now, we're just going to mess with this. Now, if we end up making it to when you enter one of these, that we have maybe these up. I don't really care for that. I like the chain link look to it. Yeah, I it's like it's bowed out, actually. It's just my angle. Um, I think I prefer the chain link, actually. Um, yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, that's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Um, and then we need to have an opening. Let's try this. Let's try to do an opening like this. And then we're going to end up... We'll do chain link for now, but we're going to be running piping through the top. So this will work for the moment. Let's grab the scrap wood I've got here and just connect it to our system here. Our, our system, our, our areas. Oh, that needs to go down, up one, okay. God, and those things are three high, so we're going to have to cut out more stuff when we do this. Can we fit through this hole? Yes, we can. Okay, so that's the hole. That's the smallest hole height that we can go with to fit through a doorway. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Um, I'm also tempted in putting in an elevator here uh, to go up and down into the service area. I think that would end up looking cleaner, and then we can figure out a way to run the pipes out later on. Um, let's just do another row of these guys. A double row, might as well. Okay, that actually looks okay. Let's put a... Why are you off? Oh, because it goes into a corner, whereas this is still off the support, and we have the... Yeah, 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 so it's going to look like that. Okay, great. That's fine. It's fine. Let's put this over here, and then let's put one down the middle. And then uh, maybe we could use some caution blocks or something in here. Let 
I'm like that. Heck, it might be easier just to do this and then cut it out. There we go. Um, and then also, I'd like to go get some of those power thingies that we have uh, and use them and like make it look like it's actually like there's power being ran to the lighting on the on the bridge. Um, are they over here in a box? Uh, no, I don't have any room on me right now either way, but. Oh my God, where is it at? All right, there. They have one right here. Uh, let's drop off. Let's just screw it. I'm just going to put these in there for now. Let's drop that off and see how this looks together with you. And then we can paint it too. It didn't like me placing that at all. <laughs> I think I think uh, the truck's settling again. Okay, let's go down here and just see what how it looks like getting these guys in here. So that might be enough room if we do this right. Um, What if we have these like this and put like a couple in? I really don't want to put them on the wall, but I, I want to make it look like we're running power up to the top and then it goes to like a transfer box or um, a junction box and then run out the big piping like it's going through conduit. Um, that's what I kind of want to go for. Hmm. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Uh, uh okay let me toy with some things we'll be right back okay we got something up uh i decided to do something like this i might bring this down one let's do that let's bring this down one so it's just like these are kind of like like mounts for the panels if you will and we'll take you and bring you over there we'll take you and bring you over here and then we got the, uh, the, the wiring pipe slash conduit running up to the top to a junction box, which is the AC unit. And right over the fans, these pieces completely cover it. And then I made an opening to run these across the top. Again, we'll make room for the other guys whenever uh, we get closer to that time of uh, running big pipe, the other pipes. But let's see how we can do with these for a little bit. Um, I'm just going to throw stuff in here for now so it's out of my inventory. I'm sure I'll find it all. No problem later. We'll do several of these guys. We'll go over here. Uh, actually, let's put some more stuff in this. Uh, I got to keep the crunchy times on me. Crunchy times got to stay on me. All right. There's that, that, that. We can get this off of here. There's that. This can go back into... Oh, let's take you out. Let's put you into there. There we go. Okay. So there's that. These all stay together with me. Stay together with me now. All right, and then we're going to grab, let's just grab a few spacers here. And I switch that out, and then we're going to need some more bracketed pieces. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to have to go farm more of those. I really wish we could craft these, man. It make, makes so much sense. It would be so much nicer, too. All right, so you can see here right now I have the mount, and then there's a spacer, that piece, another spacer, a mount, and then another spacer. I'm going to make these go a little longer before we run any more straps on it. Um... So let's do this. Let's put a spacer. Let's put another one on. Maybe do three of these in a row or something. I don't know. And th this is, uh, <laughs> I know people are probably cringing or whatnot, but this is straight up aesthetics, guys. I'm just trying to make it have more of that bridge feel. Kind of like when we do the semi truck, you know, we kind of did what we needed to do to get things done type of stuff. And that's where I'm trying to get this stuff going. And then this can go here and we'll go as far as we can. This should go like right in front of you like that and then you go in there and then we'll put the other one next to it and do the same thing and then we'll grab a couple of them and then one of those wrong way there we go just make sure i don't fall down go boom all right we can put you on there first and then i'm going to grab another couple of them just in case i think i only need one more let's go up to here and then run you and see then we get like we got like we're actually running power out from here into this area i, I kind of like how it looks actually to give it some sort of uh, of real deal going on um this needs to change too i don't want it to be too crazy ish uh maybe we can do this with the screens or something and then maybe put some handrails on it to keep it safe ish 
that wide seems pretty pretty decent okay and then maybe have this for a beginning portion of the walkway take you pull you out and this adds yeah i kind of like that that looks that looks okay uh probably every few spaces do a cross beam of uh the the the, the diamond plating maybe maybe just this and what is what they actually call this here diamond plate yeah it's diamond plate in this one too okay good and then bring this over and then bring this over and this way we can continue our work and it'll be somewhat visible from the arches but i kind of would like that just because it gives us like some sort of you know i don't know it just like like it's actually a bridge because a lot of bridges too you'll see the, the really clean ones but the huge big boys too like in a city or something um often have stuff being ran underneath it to make the most of the transition between regular you know land and into you know what i'm saying you guys know what i'm talking about you know, you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about and it'd be pretty cool if we can end up working in some um 90s into this too like right here let's grab a couple 90s i uh, don't know did i bring it yeah i brought some in the other box right yes i did just like we'll need four of them for one transition let's just see how that looks And then a spacer, which I don't have. I probably should use a strap in there, but I don't have the uh, enough of them to really go with it. And then put the other 90 on the end of you. And I don't know if I'll be able to fit underneath this then. Probably not. And then bring out the diamond plating some more. looks right ish and that looks right ish there we go and then we'll grab you and just bring that out there we go that looks pretty all right that looks like right. that looks okay it's fine it's, it's okay and then go up and yeah normally in a situation like this i'd probably strap it in real life <laughs> and then that was had no spacer on it so we just go straight to you try and keep it somewhat nicely done and then we have it directly out with another one this then no and then a space okay let's go grab spacers and stuff the way the lighting works in this game too from like just actual light fixtures is pretty interesting it, it, like how it fades in and fades out see how it's nice and bright from lighting but then when we get over here oh now it goes away it goes away see that that's kind of weird all right there's that then a spacer and then one of these and would we be able to get underneath that? Maybe. Maybe. I really don't want to cut that out. I kind of like the idea of it being structurally, you know, important. And then we could run the vacuum tubing on the side whenever we do run it. So, so I think we got a good setup going here. Um, I guess we'll just let me go ahead and try and make run as much of this as I can. And we'll we'll check and I'll remove start moving the scaffolding, I guess, too. And uh, we'll see where we're at with the build. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Let me get your excitedness if you're excited. Because this has been a lot of work. All right, we'll be right back. And there she is. <laughs> There's still things that needs to get done to finish out detail work. There needs to be railing on the underwalk. Um, as I play more, I'll decide if I want to keep that or not. I really like the idea of it being there. I don't think it pulls away from the bridge too much. Uh, I did end up running out of uh, connector, the little small connector spacers. And I ended up, instead of doing the 90s, I ended up making a flange, using the flange pieces, to, like it's going through the structure instead. Um, so that's there. Also, we now have the cross beams for support for the bridge, um, uh, the, for the pylons themselves to support it and stuff like that, just to kind of give it some more feels. I uh, did a pattern with that, uh, just kind of like a truss type of thing. Uh, it worked out, though, pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of like... It's like eight hours or nine hours now. I don't even know right now um, in just doing this. And I'm not complaining. Just letting you guys know the amount of time uh, that we're doing, that it's taken to do this here. You can see where the pipes end at. Um, but it, it looks kind of cool. Um, it's also not centered. Figured that out too after the fact. Uh, it's not centered. But whatever right now. Whenever we go back with the vacuum tubes um, is when I approach that. But look how that looks. That looks actually pretty dang good. I, I'm pretty happy with it it's it's up in there uh let's take a let's take some ganders in it. it i mean it's gonna get used i'm gonna walk back and forth to my my farm as much as humanly possible now <laughs> um 
Where is up? There's up. Uh, we still need to get an elevator in for the service stations and stuff. Can I please? It's right here. Um, the service stations and whatnot because or the service station. I didn't end up putting one on the other one. I feel like it was been redundant then to have two power section areas of it, and we already have a redundancy by having two power grid things. Which you know, oh yeah, I'm so used to being able to jump under there and get there. Maybe we can get there. Oh, we do need to build a. All right, we'll, we'll do one more thing. We'll do one more thing before we're done. Let's just do something simple right now. Um, where is it at? Okay, we need one of these. Where did I put them? Oh, there we go. We need you. I might need to upgrade you. And I was going to do a, uh, an XOR gate. <laughs> For those of you that know. There you go. All right, and this is why this is five by five, right? So, where is the line for this? That's the edge. So, one uh, right there. One, two, three. Put it right here for now. We're just gonna do something simple so I can get up and down without a problem. I'd like to build a special elevator little shaft thing for the moment, but uh, where is some? Where's the brick I just got right there? All right, so we'll go over two. Come over two. Then we'll go over here. That, and then we'll do this. Oh, then you move out the way. There we go. There's that. All right, now it's attached. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna throw the stuff in here just to have it. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's been, like I said, it's been a really, really, really long day, and I'm I feel like I can say we we got it done. I I feel like we can say that. All right, and oh, I need to upgrade you. I brought stuff. I guess I could just use the controller, but whatever. I'm, and this is I think this is our first ever. First ever fully upgraded piston. All right, 15 is definitely not the way. Let me go to 11. And we'll do 10. There we go, there's 10. Looks like it lined up decently well. All right, let's bring it back down. And we're gonna change it to, ex is it? Or is it, a, yeah, it's this one, yeah. Let's go up. And then what we'll do is right here, we'll place this and put in a block to there and then put you inside of here and then connect you down to there there we go so at least we have a way to get up and down it's not really doing as well with it as i would hope but hey at least we've got some sort of way to get down to the lower section to get to the lower section let's see how it does when it's faster than what it's doing Let's move speed up to there. Get in there. Hey, that actually set a little bit better. You can still see the line, but that's not too bad. At least we got we got we got we got stuff going on. And then under here you can see the piping running through. I'm gonna redo that section to match what we've done here. And I need to go out and farm more of these pieces as well. i I haven't really been hitting them up too hard. But now we, we have a reason to. And then again, this is off. So I'll end up coming back through and redoing this when we do the vacuum tubes. But I'm just happy we got it up. Hopefully you guys are happy as well. This has been a massive undertaking. I never did think it was going to be three episodes worth. And still kind of have a couple things that could get done. But that's what we've got. That is the time. Let me know what you think it down in the comments below. And as always, thank you so very much. And you all have a good night. Let's get one last view. One last view.